All right, headed towards 2.30 on a Monday. And like I said, we have a lot to get to. Let me just knock these ticket techs out. And then I want to bring up the Tigers. Uh, I ran a league for 15 years. You're not crazy, Mike. People are difficult to deal with in every way possible. Uh, yeah, Mike, I'm sure you're a delight, all caps, to deal with Brian and Westland. Brian, it's simple. If you're good at your job and you care, I'm easy. If you're not, no, I am difficult. I'm never going to walk around telling you I'm easy to work with. I don't think many people that are really good at what they do are easy to work with. Like, generally, people who are really good at what they do generally are red asses. Not easy to work with. No, I'm not easy to work with. That's not like some secret. The difference is I don't care. It's not my job to be friends with people. It's my job to to generate ratings and revenue, period. I, I don't know. Hey, you tell me, what, I'm supposed to be awesome to Dan Leach? I tried. Being a fantasy football commissioner requires you to be a babysitter for grown adults. It's unacceptable. I run my office league, and I run one with friends and family. This year, I simply didn't invite some back. Uh, Leach should not be in the league. He's a turd. That's fairly accurate. Mike, I've run a league for seven-plus years. I've kicked people out for less. There's no wrong in doing it. Well, thank you, Sean. Um, I want to bring up the Tigers because this, this, this weekend is – Every reason I refuse to get on the bandwagon, and I'm not writing them off. I refuse to do that. But uh, this is a bad job. It's a terrible job by everybody involved this weekend. Losing a series to the Angels when you're at home, it's a terrible job. Now, within it, there was a lot. Uh, For one, not being able to score on, on the Angels, whose pitching staff is morbid. It's unacceptable. But when you go within this series, you got a couple of things that jump out to me. And I'll throw the number out if you want to rap about your baseball team, 248-539-9797. For one, th- this is who the Tigers are. They enter a series against the Angels red hot, and what do they do? They drop the series. And a lot of you, look, I understand what you'll say. It's a long season. It's only one series. They'd won a bunch of games, five, six games in a row. I, I don't care. When you are six and a half, five and a half, four and a half games out, you don't have that margin. It's already challenging enough that you're going to have to outplay the Indians by five, six games. Well, at the end of the year, you're going to really regret those series against the Twins or those series against the Angels. Many people will say, well, the Indians aren't playing good ball right now. No, and you're still four and a half games out, five in the loss column. They don't have to worry about that. You're the one behind the eight ball. Now, within it, look, Saturday's a joke. Mike Everett should be fired. He should be let go. He should not be umping games anymore. He's got a history of these wacky nights, wacky strike zones. I thought Mike Everett was on a complete power trip. But within that, Brad Osma screwed up. Look, Victor Martinez goes and steps outside of the box and has a minute-long confrontation with the guy earlier in the game. Your manager's got to get out there. By the third inning, the second time through now, and Everett's already warming up, Brad Austin's got to protect this player. Or at a minimum, if he can't save Victor, save guys the rest of the night. Didn't do it. Sat in that dugout. Didn't do it. Got Wally Joyner getting tossed out of the game. Victor, J.D. Martinez, who I don't believe has ever been thrown out of a game in his career. That's a, that's a joke. It's a disaster. And it's, it's on Everett overall. Major League Baseball has a problem. And its problems are, beyond anything else, its problems are its umps. The umpires are an embarrassment. Whether it's, you know, Angel Hernandez to Cowboy Joe West to goofballs like Mike Everett. And I've said this for a long time. Get rid of the home plate ump. Get him out. No, I don't find it novel that we have human error in the strike zone anymore. Not when it's it's just, it's dishonest. Not when a guy can go out and corrupt the game by having a strike zone that no one's happy with. With the technology, every 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 Bob, Pete, and 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 uh, you know Anthony sitting at home. Seize the fox track. You see what's a strike and what's not. Implement the technology and get rid of these bozos. They have no place in the game anymore. Maybe in the 60s, 70s, 80s, not anymore. 
These guys clearly don't get it. And I'm tired of watching it. And I think you as a Tiger fan should be tired of watching it. You're in a pennant chase. And you went out there and your team, no less than half that batting order, had a problem with Mike Everett's zone. It was a bad job. Mike Everett had a bad night. Well, why should we accept it when we don't need to? I mean, there's no computer that can tell you if there was holding or not. There's no defined deal about pass interference or not, but the strike zone is defined. It's in the rule book. No one uses it. To me, it's easy. You put a fox track up there. Ball, strike, strike, ball, foul ball. It's easy. It's not hard. I don't want to see it anymore. But how accurate is the fox track? It's accurate. It how about this? Off sometimes okay, to me. okay, but is it more often Mike Everett? Is it more often Joe West? Is it more often CB Buckner? Probably not. Okay, so are we improving? Yeah. I okay. Would say so then that's it. Look, for me, it's 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 just Saturday was a joke all around because even with Mike Everett being awful, you still didn't go out and capitalize. You still didn't go out and do your job, and your manager didn't do his because to me he didn't do a great job protecting his players. When four guys. You, your batting coach, and two of your stars get ejected. You didn't do it right. You didn't do a good job. And to come out yesterday and get shut out, ah, it's just the icing on the cake. The Indians are trying to hand you the division. They really are. They're playing pitiful baseball. Went to Texas, got drubbed around. They can't hit. Their pitching's falling apart. What are you doing with it? Nothing. You're five games out. The wild card, you're never going to fall that far behind because there's six, seven teams that are competing. Boston separating themselves a little bit. I think they're two and a half up. But whether it's Baltimore, Seattle, Houston, you, the Yankees, the Royals, it's always going to be two, three games. You'll always be involved. But you're not doing your job. And the same way that this team goes out and can run off five, six in a row, they can easily lose five, six in a row. Or... In my world, the equivalent of losing five games in a row, dropping home series to the Angels or the Twins. It's a bad job. And it sucks because, to me, we should be coming on the air today feeling real good and being, what, two and a half games out of first place. You should be able to call in and feel really good about your baseball team. They won't allow it. They won't let you do that. They won't give you that. And for that reason, I I just can't pick them to get anything done. You see all these games versus the Twins coming up. You really expect me to tell you they're going to do the job? I don't know. They've had series versus the Twins. They look like world beaters. they got other ones where they get beat out of their own yard. I, I just, look, there's always a game within a game. This weekend was a bad job by everyone involved. Bad job by Mike Everett. He shouldn't be umping games. It's a bad job by Major League Baseball for allowing the problem to continue. It's a bad job by your manager to go that route. And look, you got to put some of it on Victor Martinez now. Now, he is widely known as a gentleman in the game. Only been ejected three, four times in his life. But you're in a pennant chase. you got to do a better job. You already had Masterpiece Theater with Mike Everett once. He wasn't going to let you get away with it twice. The J.D. Martinez thing, that's a joke. If what J.D. Martinez says is true, and that was the dialogue, that's an awful job by Mike Everett. Awful. And again, J.D. does not have a bad reputation. But when push comes to shove and you you look at the, the, the macro in all of this, you can't drop series essentially in September to the Angels. Cannot happen. And to go out and do it where you're just not hitting, cannot happen. Five nothing on a Sunday to salvage the series? Lousy lefty, cannot happen. But it keeps happening. And that's where I have a hard time with this team. 248-539-9797. I'd love to hear from you. And and again, if you want to argue, you want to make fun of me about my take on umps, go for it. I kid you not. I'm dead serious with it. Get rid of home plate officials. Home plate umps. Give me the fox track and any home plate play, play at the plate, easily used replay. Done. Or if it's that big of a deal to you, Have one of the guys on the baseline cover home. Every other player's got to cover a position. 97-1.